Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create the config forms in a Drupal. There are two types of forms in a Drupal. One is the form which is visible to the end user and from that form we accept the input data from the end user and second is the config form which is only visible to the admin users so like in this section of the website and uh, using the config form we can set some configuration related changes for the website as well as for the any particular model so i will show you i will give you one scenario like if we have the we have integrated any api inside our website and for for the different environments like development and the production environment the url of that api will be the different and uh, so we can handle those scenario using the configuration form now we will create one configuration form in that we will save the two urls first is the development url and another will be the production url so suppose in in future if any url get changed so in that case we don't need to do any code level changes we can just change that url using the config form so to create the any config form first we need to create one custom module i have already created this custom module and you can check the video for that how to create the custom module and my custom module name is hello world i will add that video link inside the description now we will create one custom config form using the drudge generate so using drudge generate we can create that config form within a five minutes and no need to write any code okay so i will show you that how to create that custom config form using the drudge generate commands so you can see right now there is no form folder now we will generate this form using the drudge generate for that go to your websites and uh, make sure you have configured the drush inside your website you can check the video for that also how to configure the drush so first command is for that drush generate and click on enter it will show you the multiple commands like here you can see there are multiple commands for the different functionalities now we want to create this config form so for that we will use this command form config so our command will be drudge generate form config so that it will ask for the module name in which we want to generate this config form so my model name is hello world so make sure you have already installed that model before generating this config forms second it will ask what will the class name so my class name will be api config form will next is would we like to create a route for this form yes i want to create the route route name will be by default it is showing the route name will be like this but i want to change that route name to hello world dot api underscore config so next is the route path means uh, in which administrator menu you want to add that uh, add that form uh, form url so this will be the url so i am keeping it as it is what will the title so title of uh, title will be the api credentials permissions Yes, I want to 
that uh, form will be only accessible to the administrator so i am keeping i will keep it as it is next is we will like to create a menu link for this route so yes i want the menu for that so what will the title of the that uh, menu so this is i will keep it is that is it so next is the what will be the title of that menu so by default it is showing the api credential i i will keep this as it is next is the description in description i will add menu to add api credentials so parent menu will be the uh, system dot admin config system so i am keep i will keep it as it is now you can see it is showing that these files are generated so i will go to our editor the form is created this is the config form then i will explain this config form so first they have included these two config uh, classes first is the config base next is the form state interface and uh, they have extended this api config form class with the config form base after that this is the required function get form id this should be the unique throughout your project next is the get editable config names so this is the name for config name for this model model name and the settings after that uh, one field is generated inside the form now i will change this field to dev api url so first we are text field of my form will be the dev api url this development environment api url now i will copy the same code and will create the one more field for the production api url prod api url default value if any value is set to this form it will automatically get that value and assign this value to that field so now we have created these two fields for the one for the development api url and the second is for the production api url and now i will remove this validation function because it is not required right now so if or you, you can modify that function now inside the submit form again we need to add these fields dev api url second is the prod api url so here our form is ready now i will clear the cache the cache is cleared now now i will go to the back end of the my website and uh, click on this configuration and uh, or you can call this configuration so on the configuration under the system menu is the this new menu is added so this menu is uh, added using the this file it command has already generated this file uh, hello world links menu dot yaml so insert that the title of the menu is uh, api credential description 
next is the par parent parent is the system this system menu and inside that we have added our new menu and the route name this route name is coming from the this hello world dot routing dot yaml file the one route is created for this form inside that these are the parameter path so path will be the this path like admin config system api config uh, and the title of that form is the api credential inside the form attribute we have added the this uh, path of the this config form and the permission now i will create click on this api credential link so that it will show you the form there are two text fields are created one is the dev api url second is the production api url now i will add one url like https fraud dot example dot com sorry it should be the dev url second will be the prod click on save configuration we can access this web both api urls inside our code using by retrieving these values using the config forms i hope this video is helpful for you please like the video and uh, subscribe the channel again i will push all these codes on my git repo and will add this git repo url in the description